Hi, I'm Bob Claggett. I run a channel here on YouTube called I Like to Make Stuff, where we make all sorts of projects. Today we're working with Lowe's to make some fun stuff for the backyard. Today we're going to make a climbing structure with a wooden post right in the center and then a net around it that's attached to the ground for kids and theoretically adults to climb on. Now anytime you make something like this that people are going to be on, safety is a huge concern. So make sure that all the hardware and the rope you're using has a working load higher than what you think you need. In fact, this bolt right here is actually rated at 1,200 pounds. So you gotta make sure that you get something that's strong enough to hold a couple of kids and possibly an adult at the same time. Here's the plan. We've got a 12 foot four x four that's pressure treated, and we're gonna be mounting this in a hole that I've got dug right over there. From the top of that post, we're gonna have ropes come down in four sides, kind of like a pyramid, and then we'll connect those four ropes with some other rope to make a climbing structure. Before we mount this post in the ground, we're gonna add some eyelets to the top of it so that we can tie off those ropes. I'm gonna drill a hole in each side of this four x four so I can put in an eyelet, but they're gonna to have to be offset a little bit so that they won't run into each other on the inside. I've also got one larger one, and this is gonna come out of one side so that I can eventually use the larger opening to tie off to another thing I'm gonna build in our yard. So let's drill some holes. We're gonna go ahead and tie on these ropes to the top so that we don't have to figure that out once it's already lifted up into the hole. And to get started here, I've got two ropes and I'm gonna tie both ends of each rope to these eyelets. And then once we get this up in place, we'll go ahead and cut the ropes off at the correct length. But right now we're just making a big loop. Now it's time to set the post in the hole. Now you can use concrete for this, but instead we're gonna use this fence post mix. This is a two-part mixture in a bag, and when it mixes together, it turns into a foam that fills the cavity of the hole. Now you don't have a whole lot of working time with this, but it does set up very quickly so you can keep working. Before I do this mixture, we're gonna get the post in the hole and make sure that it is level and square, then we'll talk more about this. Now that we've got this in place, we're gonna put levels on two sides and hold them here. Then when I pour in the mixture, we'll have about 10 seconds to make sure that it's level in both directions. I'm not gonna go over the specifics of how to use this because the instructions are really good. Just make sure that you follow exactly what it says. We put in the first bag and it wasn't quite enough to completely surround it. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing mounted to the ground, square in both directions, and then put another bag where that'll give us extra, but we'll have to cut that away and then cover the top of it with dirt. It's been a couple hours since we poured that in there. It is fully hardened and cured. And I wanna show you how hard this stuff actually is. Check this out. So basically, this is holding this entire post in place, and it seems actually a lot stronger than I expected. Now that we've got all this extra on the outside of the ground, we're gonna take a saw and cut that away, then we can start staking down the ropes. Now this stuff is made to hold a post that will also be connected to something else, like a fence. It will be tied into other things and that'll help give it rigidity. Luckily, we're gonna be tying this post into the ground in four other locations coming out each of the sides. We've got these ropes ready, so now we're gonna tie them down. To anchor the outside of these ropes, I've got these long spikes. These get twisted into the ground 
and they're about 16 inches long and they should definitely hold each one of these points in place. I'm going about 90 inches out from the post and we'll do that on the four sides and that should help us make a pretty big pyramid. We've got all these ropes run out to the spikes, but I'm not tying them off yet because along the ropes, we need to add in some knots so that we can build our web. This is gonna be kind of just a random web of lines going in all these different directions so the kids have something to climb on, but we're gonna use this same type of rope. So to make some anchor points for that rope to connect all these, we're making a loop, and then we're gonna wrap that loop within itself, make a really simple knot, but this knot will help the opening not to slide on the rope. So that's fixed and we can run another rope through here to connect to the next thing. So we'll just do a whole bunch of these in random locations and start connecting them together. Now that we've got all those knots tied in this rope, we have to attach this rope to the anchor that we put in the ground. And for that, we're gonna use a turnbuckle. This has a closed end on both ends of it. So we're gonna tie the same type of knot around this end then cut a shorter piece of rope and tie a little loop between this end of the turnbuckle and the anchor on the ground. To tighten the rope, all you have to do is twist the center of this. And then over time, if this rope stretches out, you can always just tighten it a little bit more. Once you cut rope like this, it's gonna to start to fray, especially once you start using it. So if you use a lighter, it will melt the ends of the fibers and they won't fray as easily. After doing a couple of these, we adjusted a few things. We took the turnbuckle apart and tied it around this end. That way we have to put a little bit of pressure on it before we start screwing them together. Then we also removed the rope from this end and instead used a strong carabiner just so that we can easily take these apart or put them back together. We've got all four of these attached, but we don't have them fully tight yet. And that's because as you tighten these, it actually makes the loops that we put in here a little bit smaller. So we wanna make sure that we get the cross pieces through all of these and tied off all the way around before we tighten it this direction. Once we've got that rope in all the way around, we can tighten the four points and it should make everything more taut. We've got the first pass of ropes around the entire thing all the way up to the top and I climbed up just the rope and it held just fine. It's actually a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be so it should be good for the kids. So to help add tension to some of these longer runs, we're gonna add some more eyelets around the center and then put some more lines to kind of pull these in. And that should actually make it a lot easier to climb on the lower, longer runs. We got all the knots tied up, everything is finished. We went back and melted the end of the cut ropes with a torch to make sure that they wouldn't fray anymore. We also used some zip ties to hold any loose ropes next to another rope and that'll just stop them from slipping even more. Now that we've got this in place, let's see what the kids think.
We'd love to know what you think about this project, so please let us know down in the comments. Hit that like button, and if you're not subscribed to the Lowe's channel, please go ahead and do that as well. I'm Bob from I Like To Make Stuff. We'll see you next time.